Today's video is going to be a, well, I was going to say a box opening, but how about a package opening? So I was recently contacted by In Love Arts, and they sent me a couple of different messages. One was wanting to know if I would be interested in doing a review of their diamond paintings. And the other one was doing a review for their metal dies. Now I will put the link to their shop in the description box below. And that is in love arts. And their link is actually in love arts shop.com. Like I said, I will put that link in the description box below, but for right now, I chose to do a review on one of their diamond paintings. Now they come in a lot of different sizes. The prices are really, really reasonable. So let's get this little puppy opened and see what we've got going on in here. Oh, okay, please hold. You guys know how that works. I know some people don't like that rattly noise, but you know what I have to tell you? For me, I feel like there's a prize waiting to be had with all of that rattling and going on. Okay, so I just did that. I'm the one that cut the little bag, but this is actually, as far as I can tell, wrapped really, really nicely. All right, let's see what we've got going on in here. And you guys all know that diamond paintings are really hard to see sometimes, but I have to tell you, as far as I can tell from this right now, and this is a round drills, as far as I can see, the drill filled is really, really nice. And I know you guys have a glare, but it is really super sunny outside. And even with my lights in here, it is still really, really bright. Um, and what I've noticed with this, aside from you get your typical little drill tray, there are some plastic bags in there, a nice piece of wax and the pen. And there's actually what appears to be a three space on there. Let's pull that out and have a look. I've never seen one actually shaped that way before, but you know, maybe that's just the new thing. And that looks, let's see, can we actually get a good view of that? It looks completely different from any that I've ever seen before, but you know, it's been a bit since I've had any actual new diamond painting. So maybe that's just the new thing. So, but I do have to say, this is one of my favorite shapes on the drill trays because it's closed on the end. It's not going to escape. <laughs> Some of these ones are shaped bigger and have straight edges, and I always end up losing drills out the end. But So there's that, and there's a goodly amount of little plastic baggies, though I seldom if ever use those, but there's that. And a nice big package, look how big that package is, of these, of the drills. Let's take a quick look. Okay, like I said, I know there are those of you that just absolutely hate that sound. I don't mind it because I know there's like goodies in here. So I don't mind the crinklies. But let's see. See if you can see that. That one's a little dark. But I have to tell you, the, um, the actual shape of these little diamonds is really, really nice. There doesn't appear to be any scrap in there at all. And these actually have the DMC floss codes on them, which is really, really nice. And generally for all of us, we know black is usually very, very messy, but those look pretty good. Okay. So, and as you can see, got lots of really, really nice, beautiful colors in there. The blue is amazing. I know that the light doesn't really pick it up real well in here just because but that color is really amazing now I will do an inventory on this I'll put a little message in there and uh, we'll make sure that 
everything is there as it's supposed to be. You know what? No, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Normally I don't do that, but let's just do that. Okay, so we have 30 colors. And because I didn't show you guys, this is actually the picture that I got. And this is actually, let's see, what are you called? Um, Bird of Minerva, Sunset Cross. And I don't know if you guys can actually see the color on that, but I just bet that's going to be gorgeous when it's all done. So Bird of Minerva, Sunset Cross. And this one is a 36 by 46 centimeter um, it comes in a lot larger size. Let's get us over here real quick on the website and have a quick look before we go into that. Um, let's see. If we can figure out, <coughs> excuse me. Let's figure out if we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, wrong button. That's okay. See if we can find what we're after. All right. Now, like I said, these come in a lot of different sizes. They have square drills, they have round drills. <coughs> Pardon the cough. Um, the biggest one this comes in is an 80 by 110 centimeter and I will just bet that that is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh, lots of different um, lots of different diamond paintings they have animal ones they have flower paintings life paintings festival paintings love paintings scenery and people and I have to tell you um, some are familiar from other companies but that's okay because honestly, the prices on these are probably as reasonable as any I have ever seen. But um, yeah, I'm I'm impressed. And if these go the way I'm hoping they do, let's peel this back real quick and take a peek here. Super sticky. Super, super sticky, which is really, really nice. And in case you didn't notice, we just did unroll this. And it's already mostly laying flat and I haven't even peeled back the edges to make sure that everything is laying as flat as it should. But so we're going to take us a quick look here. I'm going to pause for a minute. I will be right back and we will make sure that we've got all of the drills that we're supposed to have. Okay, so please hold. We'll be right okay, back. Okay, so we are back. I have inventoried all of those by all appearances. Everything is here. Um, this particular company does not do like one of those pages that lets you know how many packages you're supposed to have, but that's okay. Like I said, if you're one of those people like me who have has done plenty of diamond paintings, you kind of get an idea of what you have in comparison to the size of your diamond painting that you get a pretty good idea that you know whether or not you're going to have enough drills. And... I I know that I'm going to and then the fact that we have floss codes easy easy thing to remedy but so there you go so this again is called bird of Minerva sunset I was saying sunset cross only because that's what it came up when it printed on my receipt but that was cross stitch as in diamond painting cross stitch so it's actually Bird of Minerva Sunset, and there's that picture. Pretty. I think it's gorgeous. I don't know. I have a thing for owls. Just love them. So there you go. And like I said, the everything is super, super easy to read. Um, you guys probably aren't getting that great of a picture because of the glare. Like I said, sun is super, super shiny. I'm not sure what's going on with that today. It can't make up its mind whether it wants to shine or not, but there we go. So there's that in love arts and I will put all the links in the description below. And in a couple of days, we'll see how this looks as long as, you know, barring any complications with 
life getting in the way and that sort of thing. We should see what this looks like and I'll let you know how it goes. So thanks everyone for watching. Y'all have a good day and I will chat with you later. Bye now.